I wanted to be part of New Music 2012. Um, I'd heard about it a long time ago um, from a colleague of mine who'd mentioned this, this scheme that was running. Uh, weirdly enough, at the same time, Mark Baldwin and Paul Hoskins had also heard about it. Um, and we were thinking about ideas that we could do. Um, in 2012 is the centenary of Nijinsky's choreography, La Pre Midi, which is set to the music um, of Debussy. Um, very, very important piece of choreography. And they, we had this idea of somehow if we can make a, a feature of that. Um, so we came up with this idea of doing a sort of reaction piece to um, the music, the choreography, the poem, which it was all sort of inspired by. So we started thinking about what that piece, as it was, was all about. Um, and we talked to the, a scientist in residency, Nikki Clayton, who threw out the idea that it was all basically about sexual selection. Um, the idea that animals will go to any means necessary to have sex, reproduce. And we also talked about um, what humans do in order to sort of attract mates, the, the, the way we sort of dress, the, the things we do. Because we've been talking about the idea of, of raves and um, nightclubs and things like Ibiza, like people going to Ibiza in the 90s and what they go to Ibiza for. And it's that exact, they go there to dance, to get off their face and to try and attract a mate. And we like this idea of sort of humans sort of going through this civilization process and coming out the other end basically as fawns, as animals. Um, in a sort of ruined world. And I suppose that's when we, I, we started talking about these incredible pictures from um, Detroit, which was basically a city that's just been left to, to rot. And nature has literally sort of taken back these incredible buildings and these beautiful ballrooms and theatres and um, these incredible spaces that, I mean, literally nature is taking it back. There are plants growing up through the middle. And we like this idea of sort of a sort of a world where <laughs> nature has literally taken it back and we have gone back to nature. So I spent a long time as well messing around with chords, messing around with um, note rows, um, just to try and come up with some sort of harmonic world basically to, to mess around with. I basically compose at the piano. Um, I spent I, a lot of rhythmic stuff I compose whilst walking in the shower, on the tube. A lot of ideas come that lasting at night when you're just about to fall off to sleep. You go, ugh. Oh. It's a good idea, you run out of bed and jog it down. But I, I spend a lot of my time trying to make decisions because obviously for every bar you go to, there's going to be eight different paths you can go down. And it sounds ridiculous, but trying to make those sort of snap decisions are, is very difficult. I used to work at Rombert as the, the first music fellow. So I'm very familiar with, with Rombert, the dancers, the choreographers. I, I understand how the whole process works. And there's something quite exciting about seeing the beginnings of because basically when I deliver that piece to them, that is the beginning of the piece for them. So it's kind of the end of my journey, I suppose, the beginning of theirs. Um, and it's very interesting to see where they will take that and where that's going to go. So I'm looking forward to that a lot.